So I know guys who've had success in your profession, you often get asked about other jobs or you know what's next. You've been at Oklahoma State, like I said, 10 years, but you're a young guy, you're only 46, and we do see this trend of the National Football League reaching into the college ranks mm -hmm. because the college game has moved ahead of the NFL in terms of the type of football that you play, spreading the field, uh, passing the ball, no huddle. Um, do you look at the NFL and say, you know what, I don't know if I'd ever get an opportunity at it or it's something that I want, but if I ever got there, I'd do a pretty doggone good job. You know, the one thing about the NFL is that uh, uh, it's intriguing from a standpoint because it's completely different than what we do in college. Um, you don't recruit, obviously you draft, you evaluate talent, you're managing grown men that are making millions of dollars. So uh, I would imagine from a head coach's standpoint, uh, there would be some uh, consistent areas with what we do, but there would be a lot of areas that would be completely different. And, uh, and, and I've, I've had um, some talk with a couple organizations and, and it was interesting in, in listening and learning from them about what, uh, what it takes at that level. There, there could be a point in, in my career that if I ever decided that, uh, that I wanted to try something different because that can happen, it would be more toward the NFL than it would be in another college uh, just from the loyalties that I have to Oklahoma State. Well, I mean, you certainly would have opportunities at college if you ever felt like you needed to go that way. I mean, how close did you come to taking the Tennessee job? This was one, only, only a year ago. You know, a couple years ago when I listened uh, and, uh, to those uh, people in those jobs, uh, uh, I, it was more of really wanting to make sure that we had a plan formulated for Oklahoma State. Uh, ten years ago when I was fortunate enough to get this job, I felt like I had a blueprint for success and I thought that um, I knew what it took and what it takes at Oklahoma State to win in all different areas. And um, if at any time that I feel like that we're not staying on that blueprint, then I don't think it's fair to the players. And they're the ones that come and put four years of their life into our program. And I have to firmly believe that we're doing everything we can to give them the best chance to have success in the classroom and play championship football. And so if at any time I don't think that that's the way and the direction it is or where it's going, then I'm not comfortable in going in homes and recruiting and saying, we're going to give you the best opportunity because I have to believe that. And so um, I listened to those schools and uh, there were good opportunities there, but in the end, I felt like Oklahoma State was the best place for me. See, I feel like if T. Boone were over my shoulder, the, the word that he'd throw out is leverage. You got leverage. So you can go back to Mike Holder, you can go back to your university and say, hey, it's not just about paying you more money, although that could always right. be a part of it. Mm -hmm. But you got leverage. It's a pretty good thing to have. Well, and obviously, you're not afraid you, to use you, it. You know, obviously, in any profession, uh, I, I think not only in our profession, but everybody, you know, there's headhunters out there in the business world. And um, one, one thing that I'm proud of is I never went back in and renegotiated my contract because um, I get paid a lot of money to do something I love doing. And uh, for that, I'm very thankful. And Oklahoma State's been very good to me. Last question, Mike. You got a brother, Kale, mm -hmm. who's the running back coach at uh, Oklahoma. What's it like in your family in, uh, during Bedlam week? Well, it's, Everybody it's, in the separate it's actually, or? it even goes more in depth than that. My mom took some classes at Oklahoma. My dad took some classes uh, and was, uh, um, went there to play basketball for Henry Ive at Oklahoma State. And then um, my sister took classes at Oklahoma State her husband played baseball at Oklahoma State. My brother went to Oklahoma. His wife went to Oklahoma. My sister's daughters, both of them were Oklahoma State people. They both played softball at OU. <laughs> and her youngest girl is now playing softball at OSU. So there's quite a clash there. Uh, and we're always together on Thanksgiving. Uh, and the, uh, the one rule that my mom has is that nobody talks about football <laughs> on Thanksgiving whether it's college, NFL, or high school. How do you not talk about football on Thanksgiving? She does Especially not Especially your family. Well, you know, there's pro games on, so we kind of mute it. Okay. And uh, everybody watches it, but she won't let. And there's all the cousins, my sons, and, and Kale's kids, and my sister's kids. There's, they're all running around, and, you know, they're at the age where they're into all of it. And she, uh, she will definitely put her foot down and make sure that we don't discuss football uh, on her day. She said Thanksgiving's her day. Mama's the boss, it sounds That's like. That's right. So she's the one I need to be afraid of. People said I should be afraid of you. You don't seem very scary. Yeah, I'm easy guy to get along. You are softy. Yeah. Thanks Seth, for stopping by. You bet. It's great to be you with bet. you. Great. Best of luck this season. It's a good time. Yeah.